My name's Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning Speed Screed. I'm here today to talk about latex floor screed thickness. Now, a latex is a, a cement-based smoothing compound and uh, where it differs from other products is, is that the, uh, there is an additive which is a latex additive. So instead of actually uh, mixing the bag with water, you're actually uh, having a bag and bottle of latex that is mixed together. So there's no ad additional water that you have to add yourselves. You just literally pour in the bottle of latex in. Uh, the reason that the additive is latex is to give the floor a degree of flexibility. So that, uh, you know, if you've got any slight movement in there, the latex uh, will hopefully uh, move with that, that slight movement. Now, we're not talking anything major structurally there, uh, but it just allows a little bit of flexibility in the, in the flooring. When we uh, talk about how thin a screed can go, we have to look at the, the different types of screed construction. Now, there are probably three main types, which the first one is bonded and is relevant to uh, the latex smoothing compound in that the latex smoothing compound relies on the bond with the substrate. So that's definitely something that you would use it in that type of construction. Uh, unbonded, where you have a membrane in between the substrate and uh, the screed, that's not something you would use uh, latex on. And if you've got a floating construction where you've got insulation, be it acoustic or thermal insulation, again, you wouldn't be looking at uh, a latex product for that. So we're just going to e examine uh, bonded construction. Uh, for each one of them, uh, each type of construction allows for a certain minimum depth and and then the maximum depth is then generally generated uh, from another other a number of other factors. So when we when we bonding, I think it's important just to highlight uh, the bonding process. So if you're looking at the the current substrate, it needs to be sound. And when we say in sound, it need it, you know it needs to be solid. Uh, it you know if you've got crumbling, cracking, other issues with it then something needs to be done, whether it's a case of repairs or replacement. But there's no point in putting a, a screed onto something that, that isn't stable because it will only result in the, the, the screed cracking and uh, perhaps just uh, delaminating uh, as well. So you've got to make sure that it's sound. You've got to make sure that it's not contaminated. So contaminated, that can be oils, uh, that can be grease, uh, anything that may have uh, gone into the pores of the screed, into the capillaries of the of, of the screed. So if it's got any of those, it may require some mechanical uh, surface preparation, which may be grinding. It could be shot blasting. It could even be scabbling uh, as well. If you've got a surface that's got paint on, the paint will will need to be removed generally. So uh, that's just something to, to bear in mind. What you need is, is the surface to be clean, so it needs to be vacuumed if there's, if there's dirt on there. Uh, it, uh, it, it just needs to be clean. So when you put the primer on, so you'll need a primer generally with the product. Uh, uh, sometimes it can go down without the primer. So it really depends on the individual product, but you're gonna need some penetration of the surface. So it needs to bond. So it may be that you, you have to grind off the, the first couple of mil of the matrix to get down to something that is that is bondable. If it's a power flow to concrete that you're going on to, again, that surface is likely to be too smooth. There are certain products that may go down uh, directly onto it. But again, you just have to look at those individual uh, products. But generally, you're looking at mechanically uh, altering the, the the surface to allow for better uh, adhesion between the screed and the the substrate. So the latex product can generally go down uh, from normally you're looking at a normal three mil, 
which it'll uh, cover any of those imperfections. So when you're putting a latex down, maybe that you've got a concrete or a screed down and you're wanting to put some thin vinyls and thin floor coverings down and slight imperfections will show up with those types of, of floor coverings. So you're looking at normally three or five mil with a latex screed. There are some products that will actually go down to feather edge. So you're looking at around about uh, one mil. So that's latex screed thickness. I uh, hope that's been of uh, some use to you. If you've any further questions, we'd only be too happy to answer them. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you.